morning. Week two continues. One of the advantages of doing a remodel in the country is you can burn up all your waste. Right now we're just burning a bunch of brush, but at the bottom of the uh, pile there was some cabinets and trim boards. So we don't have to pay for the removal. We can just burn them up. So far in week two, we haven't done as much as we did in week one, primarily because I went back to work for the most part. But um, Chris has continued to do quite a bit of stuff uh, while I was working. Uh, the main thing that we got completed so far was the electric upgrade, which we had a little bit of a uh, snafu on that, had the wrong meter panel. So we were out of service for two days longer than we thought we would be. Um, we barely had enough water to make it. We were rationing for three days and uh, it really was five days. So the last two days we expected to be able to have our water back on, but uh, we made it through and our uh, well is back on with electric now pumping water for us. And we've got electric to the RV, uh, just 20 amps right now. We'll be running a new electric line to get that up to 50 amps, but it does fine on 20 amps without the AC and uh, the temperatures are perfect right now, no AC needed. Chris uh, cleaned the gutters out and she actually installed these cool rain chains. You can see the rain chain down the other end and this one right here. So she uh, she didn't want to wait until we got the roof done. She wanted to get them up temporarily. Uh, roof will be getting done in the next uh, week to 10 days and uh, we'll take them down while they do the roof. And she's ordered some, uh, some installation brackets for the top up there. Uh, right now she just got some repurposed clothes hangers that we put in there to hang those but uh, there's some brackets that you get that um, will cause the water to flow a little bit better and be more professionally installed so we got another bit of good news um, yesterday I found out that our tractors will be here at 9 30 this morning so we'll be able to dig into that sewer line this weekend and possibly running of the 50 amp electrical cable um, we've got a lot of stuff to do with our new tractor as far as digging digging holes moving dirt this morning at 8.30, we've got somebody coming to pick up the sink and uh, countertop. We've got somebody picking up the sink and countertop in the kitchen. So I've got to go in and disconnect those now. Uh, we've also got our tractors coming at 9.30. That's the big thing of the day. And then we've got a whole list, whole list of items in there on the RV uh, chalkboard that we will be working on today. So try to take a little bit more footage as we make some progress here at the homestead. All right, so this is the uh, first order of business this morning. Uh, the cabinets have some damage, so we're just gonna burn those. But the countertop we listed fairly cheaply on uh, fa Facebook Marketplace, and somebody's gonna come and get it. Uh, basically the sink, faucet, garbage disposal, and counter. Most likely they're just buying it. Well, I don't know what they're buying it for. They might be buying it for the counter. The counter's in decent shape. But uh, 
50 bucks, cheap price for all that, and somebody's coming to get it here shortly, so I have to get it disconnected down here so that we can lift it off and load it. water lines, electric, disconnected, garbage disposal reservoir I've already taken off. So once the uh, buyer gets here for that, we will just uh, gently lift. We'll probably need a person on that end, a person at the sink, and maybe another person on that end because that wood is not very sturdy. It's particle board uh, top, basically with laminate on the top. So the the weight of the sink may cause it to snap over there if we tried to carry it on both ends. So we'll give it a try, get it out in one piece, and uh, then we'll take these cabinets, take them apart, and then tomorrow when it's not raining, we will uh, set them on fire. Friday night bonfire at the homestead. Another task uh, for today is the top cabinets, the upper cabinets here. Um, Chris is gonna take the want to take those off. Uh, I think she's listed those and they they may be sold I know at least The small one is sold to a couple friends of ours. We're gonna try to take the rest of these off intact and sell those as well to it. Nope. The only other thing, get to where you're starting to mow, pop this up, and engages the blades. Okay. And that's basically all of this. Okay. Except for checking the oil, which is the yellow thing right over here. That's just pull it out, check it between the two lines. Okay. Well, that's a fancy one. It is. Is it still going? Yes. Just sitting here. This is your brake. Release it, push it, push it, then push that button right there. Now release this, it sets it. Ah, okay. Uh, since you got a HST, forward and reverse are the pedals.
we're making progress. So uh, the big, big thing today, midweek through, midweek through week two, and the big thing today was the delivery of the tractors and inches of rainfall. Um, so because we've got so much rain, there's not gonna be a tractor play today. Uh, we'll see how the ground is tomorrow. Most likely it'll be Saturday or Sunday before we start digging in sewer lines, uh, doing things with the tractors. In the meantime, you see these uppers behind me? We're taking those down. We've got some friends that wanted those. Um, lesson learned here, I already knew this, but um, taking these apart, confirm that. Whenever you're gonna put something up, that you ever plan to take down, use screws, not nails. So these are a pain to get down without tearing them apart. Uh, they've been nailed with 16 penny nails, some of them bent over, they are hard to get out. Uh, I was only able so far with about 20 minutes of work, 20, 30 minutes of work to get that one small cabinet out. We're gonna continue trying to get at least this other section right behind me. Um, the other things that we made progress on today were selling a couple more items. We got rid of the countertop and we also got rid of the bathroom vanity, the old bathroom vanity, small bathroom vanity, and also the toilet from the small bathroom in the back. So good to get those out of here and it's nice to make a little bit of cash rather than just throwing things in the dump and the landfill. So I'm gonna continue on trying to get these cabinets out. Oh, my God. 